So today was the secondary entrance assessment exam for our uh, standard five students, better known as C. And I'm about to do the C maths pass paper. So to be honest, I just got this paper and I really can't wait to go through it with you all. Question one, write a numeral for 35,096. This was a really easy first question, y'all. 35,096. And for those of you all who have problems with place value, I always tell you all, write your values at the top of numbers to help you. So this is what you'll do. And tens of thousands. So 35,096, this is the answer, y'all. The number 875 is increased by 625. What is the new number? 875 is increased by 625. They just want us to add here. Another good one. 875 plus 625. 5 plus 5 is 10. 7 plus 2 is 9. And 1 outside is also 10. 8 plus 6 and 1 is going to give me 15. The answer is 1,500. Another easy one, you all. Question 3. Divide 372 by 12. Nice. 12 into 12, 1. And 12 can go into 37 three times because 12 plus 36. But a remainder of 1 and 12 into 12 is 1. So the answer is 31. That's, that's it for the first page. The next page would have looked like this. One seventh of something is equal to 19. What is that something? What is missing from this box? So instead of multiplying, we'll have to do the opposite operation and do what? Divide. So it's going to be 19 over 1, change my division sign to a multiplication sign, flip this fraction, I'm going to get 7 over 1. And I'm going to multiply 19 by 7. And of course, if you don't know 19 by 7, you go to your working column and you work it out. 7 nines are 63, cross out my 3, put it here. 7 times 1. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13. So my answer is 133. So 133 is what is missing from this box. Circle so the number that is not a square number. 9 is a square number. How do I know that? 3, 3 is a 9. 12 is a square number. Nope, so 12 is the answer. 16 is a square number. Yes, how do I know that? 4, 4 is a 16. 25 is a square number. How do I know that? 5, 5 is a 25. So my answer is 12. 12 is not a square number. Another good question. Calculate 11 over 12. Take away two thirds. What do we need to do? We have to remember when we are adding or subtracting fractions, we must have common denominators. We don't have common denominators. So we need to find the LCM. What is going to be the LCM of three and 12? For those of you all who don't know it already, and for those of you all who will be watching this video for next year, I'm gonna explain. Three into three is one and three into 12 is four. What can I use now? Bring down my one. Two into four is two. What can I use now? Bring down my one. Two into two is one. So I multiply the numbers I use on the outside. Three twos are six. Six twos are 12. The LCM of 12 and three is 12. 12 into 12, 1. 1 times 11 is 11. Subtract 3 into 12. I'm dividing, and then I'm going to multiply the answer I get by the numerator, okay? 3 into 12 is 4. 4 twos are 8. So 11 take away 8 is going to give me 3. 3 over 12. 3 into 3, 1. You must give your answer in its reduced form. And 3 can go into 12 four times. 
So your answer for this question is one quarter. That's it for your second page. Calculate six sevenths, multiply by 84. 84, one is understood as its denominator. Seven into seven, one. And seven can go into 84, 12 times, tables you all. Six times 12 is 72. And that's our answer. Convert 47 over 5 to a mixed number. So 47 over 5, I need to divide. 5 into 47 is 9. 9 fives are 45 with a remainder of 2 over 5. So my answer is 9 and 2 fifths. Question 9. The maximum score of a spelling test was 50. Anika scored 60%. What was Anika's score on the test? All we need to do is find 60% of 50, and we will know what Anika's score was. There are different ways we can reduce this fraction. I'm going to go this way, 15 to 51. 15 to 100 is 2. 2 into 2, 1. And 2 into 60 is 30. 30 by 1 is 30. Over one, which is 30. So Anika's score was 30. Okay, you all. This was a good question, too. On to our next page. Question 10. Sam bought two of the bottled waters shown below. How much change did he receive from $10? So the cost of one bottle of water is $4.25. So therefore, the cost of two bottle waters would be eight fifty. How do I know that? Four twenty five by two. Two fives are ten. Two twos are four, and one is five. Two fours are eight. So the cost of two bottle waters. Uh, uh, the cost of two bottle waters. So the cost of the two bottle waters is eight fifty. So how much change did I receive? I'm calculating change, so I need to subtract. What am I subtracting? I have $10, take away $8 and 50 cents. Zero, take away zero is zero. Zero cannot take away five, so I need to borrow. Regrouping, right? 10 take away five is five. And nine takeaways is one. So the change is a dollar and fifty cents. Question eleven. So we see where it starts here and it ends here. So from four to five is one. Here is two, here is three, here is four, here is five, here is six. Here we have a half. And a half, which is going to give me a whole. So the length of this pencil is seven centimeters. Question 12. Write the time shown on the clock. Question 13. How many pineapples of the same mass will balance the scale? So here we have a box. Here we have a box, and the weight of this is three kilograms. So we know that. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So the three kilograms would be equal to 3,000 grams. And here we have the pineapple. One pineapple weighs 500 grams. So how many pineapples do I need? I'll have to divide 3,000 by 500. See, these two zeros could cancel these two zeros. Five into five, one. Five into 30 is six. So I would need a total of six pineapples to balance the scale. You see? So this was also a nice question. Question 14, an empty container and a full carton of milk is shown below. The container is five liters, which is equal to 5,000 milliliters and the milk is 250 milliliters. 
how many cartons of milk will fill the, the how many cartons of milk will fill the container we need to divide so we are dividing 5000 and 250 this zero could cancel off this zero 25 into 50 is 2 25 into zero is zero so i'm getting 20 so i would need 20 cartons of milk to fill this container. Our next question, question 15. The cross section of the prism shown below is a square cross section. If this shape is cut down the middle here, okay, the shape that we will see is the same shape at the end of this prism, we'll see a square. So that's why they're saying when the cross section of the prism shown below is a square. What is the name of the prism? The name of this prism is a cuboid. Hope you all spelled cuboid correctly. Just saying. Which of the shapes below shown, which of the shapes shown below is not symmetrical? Definitely this is symmetrical. I mean, look at the butterfly. We can go straight through there, can't we? Look at the plane. We can go straight through there. But the apple, is this shape symmetrical? No, it isn't. So it will be the apple. This shape is not symmetrical. So the answer is the apple. Question 17, which triangle below has an angle that is greater than a right angle? Okay, let's go in the order they give us. A is a right angle. So this is equal to a right angle. It is a right angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. If we look at B, we can see that B is an equilateral triangle. What do I mean by that? All well, the sides and angles are equal. And to C, C is obtuse. How do I know C is obtuse? C is greater than 90. Are we seeing that an obtuse angle is one that is greater than 90, but less than 180 degrees. And the question asks us, which angle is greater than a right angle? Which angle is greater than 90 degrees? Our answer has to be C, okay? Question 18. Question 18. The tally chart below shows the months in which the students in a class were born, okay? The months in which students were born, months, January, April, July, September. Tally, okay, is given here. This tally represents how much? Five, this represents six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This represents 10. And this represents five. The question asks us, which month represents the mode. Which tally is the greatest? This one. Which month represents the mode? The month that represents the mode is July. Okay. Some people may have gotten, um, some people might mix this up and actually put 10, but the question asks us which month represents the mode. So the answer is July. The table below shows Maddie's marks in her end of term test, okay? The subjects, mathematics, the marks obtained, 80 in language arts, 91, social studies, 82, science, 53. What is Maddie's mean mark? Now, to get Maddie's mean mark, we'll have to add all her scores and divide by how much? Marks we have here, one, two, three, four. So we have to add, divide by four, and we would know her mean. So here we have 80 plus 91 plus 82 plus 53. So when I add all of this and I divide by four, it's going to give me my mean. If I add 80 and 91, that's going to give me 171. And 171 plus 82 is going to give me 253. 253 plus 53 is going to give me a total of 306. 306 divided by 4. 
4 into 4, 1, 4 can go into 30, 7 times, because 4 7s are 28, with a remainder of 2. And 4 can go into 26, 6 times, because 4 6s are 24, with a remainder of 2 over 4. So here I'm getting 76 and two quarters. This two quarters, of course, can be reduced to a half. And our answer can be written as such or as 76.5. This is going to be a mean mark, 76.5. Question 20. The incomplete bar graph below shows the color of the vehicles in a car park. The color of the vehicles are red, gray, blue, and white. On this, they are telling us the number of vehicles here, the color of the vehicles. It's important that we read the entire graph before we attempt to answer the question. If there are 24 vehicles in the car park, a total of 24 vehicles in the car park, how many vehicles are blue? So how many vehicles are red? As we can see here from zero, here will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the total number of red is going to be seven. Gray is three. Blue, we don't know. White is eight. So how are we gonna get our answer? We need to add and then subtract. So seven plus three is 10 plus eight is gonna give me 18. So now that I have 18, the next step is to subtract what I have from the total number of vehicles in the car park. We have a total of 24 vehicles. 24 subtract 18. Four can I take away eight, I need to borrow one. 14 take away eight is gonna give us six. One takeaway one is zero. So that tells me that blue is going to be six. Blue is going to be six. And that's it for section one. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel for more solutions. Of course, I'll be doing section two.